First-person shooter games have been around since 1992's Wolfenstein 3D. Although games nowadays look drastically different, the main theme in them remains the same. Point and click. Easy, right? Well, there's always room for improvement, and I'm here to help guide you towards that. Now, I am by no means a pro gamer or a coach yet, but I have gone from bronze to master on Overwatch. Uh, since I was switching from console to PC, there was a big gap of time where I sucked. But I never finished a season bronze, let's get that straight. I didn't let that happen, <laughs> but I definitely have fallen there. So I am excited to bring you guys my own take on how to rank up in video games. It's going to be a lot different than other videos. It's not just going to be about workshop codes and aim labs and training. There's, there's a part of that, but um, this is really unique and has to do more with uh, the brain and the mentality of gaming, of ranking up. Uh, so I, I hope you guys enjoy. What I have come up with is a three-step method called the WWW method. It's a nice, easy acronym to learn, so hopefully you guys can remember it. So, the first W is going to be wind down. The second is warm up. And the third is watch it back. Okay, so the first W is we are going to wind down. So, before we start gaming, uh, we don't want to hop right into it. I know maybe we just got off work out of school and we're hyped up We want to game uh, But it's actually best I have found to maybe wind down a little bit before you get into game Let me share a clip with you guys that I found of a brain surgeon actually Perfect. talking about actually, the flow state You would think that if somebody's about to hit a game-winning shot their best performance is when they're at a high level, meaning wild, frenetic. Actually, no. When they're super calm. Somewhere in between. Okay. So, so not asleep. Right. But not, hey, I'm on my third espresso just taking in stuff in the but morning. Focused. Focused, but relaxed. And there is a measured state for that. And it usually has to do with sort of medium brain waves. That's something I'm writing about right now. And, mm. and whether you meditate or you're under that you, the two minute drill in football or you're a ballerina and you have that that perfect you know dance routine coming up or maneuver um you are actually disengaging some of the things that would get in the way of you releasing a performance so you're not thinking the performance you're getting out of the way you're, you're being you're just yeah interesting. And, and that has a different measurable electrical flow state you know and it's not revved up it's not it's, hyperactive, it's somewhere in between above calm, but calm. Yeah. It's not fifth gear, it's not idle. Yeah. Thank you, Lewis Howes and Dr. Rahul John Dial for that interview. Uh, the link to the full video is below. If you guys like psychology and learning about the physiology of the brain, uh, it's definitely for you. So check it out. It's like over an hour long. I thought it was super cool. As Dr. John Dial was saying, you aren't cracked out when you're in the flow state, you're just in the zone. However, the result of being in the zone is a hyped up crowd, you exude excitement. So maybe people mistake that excitement and that hype for being in the zone, but all that hype is really just a result of being able to achieve that flow state. So my goal is to be able to get you guys to get into that flow state and um, like Dr. John Deal was saying he, uh, he mentioned meditation and I think that is maybe the easiest way to kind of take control of your mind and maybe bring it down a notch because we have a lot of things going on throughout the day uh, a lot of distractions and, and meditation has been proven to be beneficial so I am going to give you guys a very simple way to meditate and what you do is take a breath in for four seconds one two three four and then you hold for four seconds one two three four and then let go for four seconds one two three four 
and that's it. You repeat this a few times and you're gonna have a lot less going on up there and you're gonna be able to focus more of your attention into getting a good training session in which leads us to W number two, which is warm up. So the most crucial part of warming up is to actually warm up. It is better to realize that your aim is off while you're in a practice mode than when your team is watching you whiff a 20 HP Roadhog from point blank in a clutch situation. So do yourself, your teammates, and your MMR a favor, and take the time to practice your craft. Like I said previously, I have some unique psychological tips to share with you guys. Now, these seem to be growing pretty rapidly in the YouTube community, so I'm sure some of you know what these are, but they're called binaural beats. If you don't know what these are, the way they're supposed to work is by Sending slightly different frequencies of tones to each ear, um, it results in an auditory illusion in your brain called a binaural beat. And playing these frequencies are believed to be able to recreate specific brain waves to support our goals. And this could be anything. So say you want to focus more, you can type in focus binaural beats and they have some for sleeping, some for creativity, basically anything you can think of. So for my training sessions, I use like a focus, I'll type in focus HZ. HZ stands for Hertz, which is like the frequency. It's just a very way to, t a very fast way to type it in. So I don't have to type all of binaural beats out every time. Um, but definitely give those a try while you're practicing and see if it makes any difference. I'm not sure if there's any health risks associated with it. I don't think you're supposed to drive on them. I'm not trying to give health advice, but definitely worth looking into. Binaural beats, guys. A few things I do want to add to this. Uh, I think it's important to start slow when you're warming up and remember that it is a gradual process every day. Um, I grew up as a skateboarder and knowing that sport, you're not gonna just ollie off a 10 stair as your first thing of the day, just do a gnarly trick. No, you're gonna do a bunch on the ground first, do some on some four stairs, some five stairs, and then you hit the big stair set. So same thing if you're in an aiming game, you're gonna go whiff some shots at first and then hit some body shots and some head shots and then multiple head shots and that's what you want to strive for. Okay, so now on to the final W. Watch it back. Now, you may be saying, yo, Jay Guinea, what about the game? You skipped the game. Well, yes I did. Because I don't care about how you play the game. I care about how you prepare, how you train, and the VOD review. Wind down, warm up, and watch it back. If you do these three things, I can pretty much guarantee improvement. So how do you watch it back? Well, I like the way that Overwatch coach Spilo, that's S-P-I-L-O, put it. He said, you don't have to watch every VOD review, just watch a few fights in your queue time or your snack time and see what you could have done better. And I can't find the exact video I heard him say this in, but I'll link his channel below, but it totally makes sense. For me, I like to watch lost games and fights because there's more of a chance of me seeing mistakes that I made. But do not run away from seeing yourself making bad plays. If you really want to get good, you have to learn to cringe at your own bad gameplay so that when the situation happens in your next game, you'll have a little voice in your head saying, oof, don't do it. And that is where the magic of improvement really happens, my friends. So, the triple dub method. Wind down, meditate, do yoga, whatever it is, get your head ready. Then warm up, have measurable goals, 
try binaural beats, and then finally watch it back. Laugh at your mistakes so you can learn from them. There's really no better substitute. I really do hope you guys can take something from this video and implement it in your games and honestly these tips could be used in most aspects of our lives. Uh, competitive gaming can really be stressful so I do think it's important for us as gamers to know how to have the right mentality to achieve our goals. I've always loved psychology since taking AP Psych in high school so I would be happy to do more videos similar to this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And one last secret tip, you can practice your aim on that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.